It's organizing time. Today is step four of my four part house reset series. We decluttered, we cleaned our homes, we did a digital declutter, and now it is time to organize our house. If you're new here, hi, my name is Marissa. I am a mom to six beautiful kids, and I make videos all about minimalism and simplifying your home so you can eliminate stress anxiety, frustration in your homes, and instead cultivate a space that brings you joy and calm and peace in your home. Let's ignore Mr. Pimple here, but before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know a bit of exciting news. My 30 days to declutter guide is now available for you guys to purchase. If you are feeling overwhelmed and not knowing when to start when it comes to decluttering your home, my guide walks you through step-by-step -step exactly how and what to declutter so that by the end of 30 days, you have decluttered your entire home and you feel fresh and re-energized inside of your space so go and check that out now the link is in the description box below so in today's video you guys are going to join me as I organize my entire home we are going into all my cupboards and all of my drawers and just organizing things into categories so that everything looks aesthetically pleasing but that it, it's also more functional and we're not having to look around for things we know exactly where they are now this isn't your typical like I've gone out to the the dollar store and spent a ton of money on organizing storage products and things like that this is a real genuine organizing video in the sense that I am simply categorizing my items without using anything because let's be real when you're organizing your space you're probably not going out and spending a hundred bucks every time you're probably just moving things around and making sure that they are in the right places and if you are in need of a house reset like me please go and check out my other three videos in the series I will leave them down in the description box below as well let me know in the comments below have you been here from the start or are you completely new let me know and with that let's get into the video Right, my loves if you are a bit confused in how this is part of my four part challenge I get it I have not given you any rules or like checklists to do and there's a point to that I've actually found that organizing takes the longest and so for today I want to encourage you to just do what you can write a list of the top five areas that need to be organized the most desperately and then start with the easiest task for me it was my bedside tables and then of course naturally I just went into my ensuite bathroom but for you pick whatever task is the easiest to complete so that you get into the flow of organizing everything now as I go throughout this video I do want to share a few organizing tips However, I do want to note that I'm fully aware that I myself am not abiding by these tips and the reason why is because I am currently on a budget so I don't want to go out and purchase other things but if you have the finances available to purchase things that are going to help you keep more organized in your cupboards and your drawers then by all means hop onto Amazon go to your nearest Kmart, go to your nearest dollar store and invest in those because when you have tools that help you stay organized, it is a lot easier to keep organized. Anyways, let's jump into some organizing tips that I have for you. Number one is to declutter. You already know that. The less stuff you have, the less things you have to organize. But once you have decluttered everything, then you want to divide and conquer. So, as I mentioned, use drawer organizers or small containers like I have to separate items by category. For example, with your makeup, you might want a little drawer for your blushes or for your makeup brushes, for your eye makeup. You get the idea. You want to categorize things and separate them whenever possible. Also think of prioritizing your essentials. So I like keeping certain products that I grab on a day-to-day -day basis inside my bedside table. 
so that each night I don't need to go into my bathroom, I can just grab it out of my bedside table. So think about your functional day-to-day -day life and make it really easy for you to go throughout your day. So if you are always grabbing a hat or your sunnies, maybe keep them near the front door so that it's easy for you and just set it up in an organized way in places that just make sense. When it comes to your linen cupboard, again, you want to categorize items that are similar in use, but you are probably going to have a few random bits and bobs that will need to be placed together. So that is why I have those white tubs there. One of them is for my hot water bottles and then the other is for my special occasion linen, for example, like napkins and tablecloths, that's where I keep those. I snuck in a little bit of decluttering here because unfortunately when it comes to organizing you're going to find that there are items in the wrong places and also excess items so I'm just going through my kids shoes that are not their current size I am decluttering and minimizing the amount I have to store and I'm so proud to say that I was able to keep one bag of shoes and I did donate the rest when it comes to your laundry powder and things like that, I do like using aesthetically pleasing containers, glass jars like the one I have for my powder. I just find it more aesthetically pleasing like I just said, but I also like keeping random bits and bobs that are extras on hand so like toilet paper, paper towel, because we all went through the C word and we know you just need some backups there. So here's the end result. Look, it doesn't look the best, but in my mind, it's organized, it's done. And because of that, I still feel satisfied. If you are going to purchase some storage tubs, I would recommend investing in your kitchen. I really, really love these wooden just dividers. I got them from Kmart, but I will link some in the description box from Amazon if you guys are overseas. Uh, I do really love them. I have a baking tub and then I also have a cooking tub for my herbs. Then I have a spreads tub, which is on my middle shelf. And then of course I have invested in some plastic containers to store all my like random things like grains. I keep breadcrumb in there. You know, all those different loose items that are really annoying because they come in bags. Then I just store all of my canned goods down the bottom, just normally piled on top of each other. And then I do have like a clear container containing all of my sauces and condiments for dinners as well. Up the top, I am just reorganizing all of my random appliances there and then we are done and we are going to now move into my homeschool cabinet which is one of my favorite little places in my home i just find it so fun and exciting i love homeschooling but i am just rearranging everything pretty much this is where we keep all of our curriculum and our work and so at the moment i kind of just shove things in there as we go through our homeschool day so it is really important that every now and again i just hop in there and tidy it all up so on the other side of my cabinet is our like manipulatives and little games and puzzles that the kids use if you have similar items in your house even if you have board games and puzzles and art supplies try to organize things by type for example when it comes to our art supplies i keep them in a caddy near our dining table because it's really easy for the kids to grab and they like helping themselves throughout the day i like them doing arts and crafts opposed to using screens so it works really well for us another thing is to of course label everything if you're going to stick things in different tubs and you can't actually see what is inside them highly recommend labeling each container you also want to keep your kids things easily accessible so that they're not nagging you to get it out each time because that can be really really frustrating if you're a mom you know what I mean we are back into my kitchen 
cupboards and drawers and I know it annoys me now watching this that the entire kitchen was not done at the same time however I actually created this video throughout the span of a week which is why I'm wearing different clothing and you know my videos are a bit all over the place so I apologize for that but one of the biggest things when it comes to keeping your kitchen organized I have found is to have a regular routine with it so regularly clean everything out regularly go through your medicine cabinet and make sure that things that are old are chucked out because when you have all this random stuff you're not going to want to organize so when you know that a task is going to get done really quickly you're more likely to do it and the less stuff you have the more motivated you will be to organize it all on a regular basis If you own your home and you need more space, then try to utilize vertical shelving. Try to use your wall space as much as you can. So when it comes to your cupboard doors, you could hang tea towel holders inside of them. You can put a rubbish bin inside of your under sink area. All right, there's so much more you can do, but unfortunately I am just renting. However, my kitchen is really functional for our family and I do truly love it. Another random thing I just thought of is to train your children on where everything goes. Make sure that each item in your kitchen has its home and teach your children where they go so that you're not having to go over and reorganize things when they help you tidy up. And mums, if your children are not helping you keep the kitchen in order, this is your sign I encourage you to train them children want to help out doesn't matter how young they are a one-year-old can help you and when they get older it is so so helpful yes I am sitting in the corner of my now office it's actually at the front of our house if you made it this far thank you so much for sticking it out with me I appreciate every single one of you please like and subscribe to see more videos like this I really hope that this video has inspired you has it encouraged and motivated you to organize your home with that I can hear my little baby crying so I am going to go all right bye friends I hope you have a wonderful week